Not gonna lie, I feel like I'm in elementary school painting right now. You guys, though, I'm gonna clean that up, so don't worry. <gasps> oh my god, I look crazy! <laughs> Hey guys and welcome back to my channel and welcome if you guys are new here my name is Maria or it's MJ here on YouTube so in today's video I have a little mini review slash first impressions of the Glossier new matte shadows their Skywash shadows so I decided to review two products I have their lawn uh, green shadow and then I also have echo their brown shadow so I decided to do two colors one on the lighter end and one on the darker end um, one that's a little bit more fun and then one that's maybe more of like a neutral everyday sort of color and for me this is fun so, so I'll be applying it on screen for you guys and I'll be letting you guys know my thoughts and everything else so if you guys are interested in seeing my review and my thoughts on these products then please keep on watching so as you guys can see I have pretty pigmented um, eyelids people actually think that I have like brown eyeshadow on and I'm like no that's just like how dark my eyelids are and like I just need sleep I'm gonna go just right into it because it's supposed to be at the end of the day kind of like an on-the-go sort of product anyway so we'll see okay it's going on pretty sheer wasn't really expecting much to be honest from Glossier because I feel like their products are mostly just washes of colors rather than like ColourPop for example um, their products are a lot more pigmented I don't know if I mentioned this already but I will be using my fingers to blend out the product I feel like Glossier products are meant to be fun and to use your finger so that right there is one swatch um, it's very very sheer I kind of want it to be a little bit more pigment though I don't know if you guys watched this video that I had yellow eyeshadow on and it was like super pigmented that was from elf so this is kind of what i want from this one so i'm gonna build it up and this is now my second um layer it's pretty watery as well i don't know how i feel about that and now that is with two layers okay i don't know if the camera is catching it but right close to my lid line, it looks kind of chalky. So I'm kind of glad I didn't apply um, mascara. So that is with two layers. And now what I'm going to do for this eye is I'm going to add concealer just to see if the color comes out a little bit more because I do want it to come out a little bit more. I mean, that's cute and it's like a nice wash of color, but I just want it to be a little bit more pigmented. I'm going to go in with this concealer and then I'm going to go on top with the... Um, eyeshadow just to cancel out some of my brownness to give it a fair shot you know not gonna lie I feel like I'm in elementary school painting right now but what I will say is with this lighter color I feel like I'm using a lot of product if I do want it to get a little bit more pigmented um, because with the first one it's literally like a wash of color now what I'm finding is that this is a good product if you literally want to wash of color which is i mean i can't hate it for it because that's literally the name this is sky wash so that's pretty much it for the green one um i don't think that it made a huge difference if anything i actually like this side more i feel like it blends quite nice with my brown undertones anyways but with this one it became super chalky i added a concealer as you guys saw and then on top it just i don't know it became chalky and like grayish um yeah i don't like it and it's supposed to be like an on the go sort of product anyway so i say just go right on top of your natural eyes and it creates more of like a natural wash of color rather than this mess i don't even know what's going on so but i'm gonna wash this off and we're gonna go on with the brown also it kind of feels sort of heavy like on this one that i added the concealer it feels a little bit more heavy than this one with this one i don't even feel i have product on but with this one it just feels like heavy you know so i'm back and my eyeballs feel like they're about to fall off <laughs> i had to kind of just tuck on my eyes to remove it i'm not gonna lie it was pretty chalky um and thick to remove especially the side that i had the concealer so yeah i mean that's good i guess if you wanted to stay on all day so this is echo and this is once again my first time using this product so i'll just use it on camera with you guys i'm actually really excited to try this product because i love brown eyelids so we're just gonna go in right on top of it 
I was using a bigger mirror before and I should have just used a small one from the start. Hey, but look at this. This one has a lot more pigment than the other one. I'm just packing it on, sort of creating um, a shape. Not really though. Not trying to be super precise. You guys have seen my videos of me talking about makeup before. I say that I kind of like that messy shadow look anyways. Um, it just reminds me of like the 90s. Um, and I don't really care for precision. I use my fingers for most of my makeup products anyways. I kind of dig that look anyways. It just gives me like model off duty vibes. Now I'm blending it in and just upward with my finger. And it's blending quite well. It's almost pretty dry as well. Don't mind this. I can clean that up afterwards. But it's just to show you guys um, how it blends. And if I can say so myself, I feel like it blended pretty nicely and i mean that was with my fingers as you guys saw so that is one swatch and i'm gonna go in now with a second swatch i'm also not going to add concealer now just because i didn't get the point of it to be honest this product the way it feels it feels kind of like an eyelid primer um actually have one right here so i'm gonna show you guys wait hold on hold on let me blend this before it dries because one thing that i am finding out with this product is if you don't work it pretty quickly, then it does become hard to blend out. So you, you do have to work pretty quickly with it. You guys, though, I'm going to clean that up. Don't worry. <gasps> oh my god, I look crazy. It's kind of messy. I love messiness, though. So that's about it for today's video. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Peace out and have a good day. I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. So I'm gonna go clean this up and then I'll come right back. All right, so I'm back, you guys. I finished the other eye and I added mascara on my top lashes. I just added some inner corner shimmer just to finish up the look. But I will say with Echo, I'm highly, highly surprised. Now, I did not care for lawn. It was hard to blend out. Um, the first wash of color looked okay, but it's nothing that like, oh my god, it's so good that I need to go and grab their like lighter colors. Like they have this really nice periwinkle blue color. It's not that kind. It's more of a, I had it in my bag, I'm gonna go out, and I don't have any shadow with me. I just want to pop of color, well, a wash of color on my lid, so I'll just add it. But Echo, on the other hand, to me, this is good. And I'm not like a makeup guru or whatever, but this is, it's good to me. I'm definitely impressed with Echo. Um, it looks like I blended it with like a shadow, and I didn't. This is full on, just with my fingers doing the works and I like it um it was a little difficult to clean out towards the end but I think that's just comes with practice it was my first time using it I'm not a beauty guru at the end of the day but I think it did pretty well um they do have a terracotta color and I would be interested to get that one and I think that it just looks like a nice wash of brown so it looks like their darker colors are definitely a lot more buildable. I added two coats on each eye and it doesn't look super dark. It just looks like a nice brown smoked out look. Um, so yeah, I actually really liked it and I'm definitely interested in trying their terracotta color. I feel like their darker colors are just uh, better in my opinion. I do understand that Glossier is not meant to have the biggest pigmentation and whatnot. But this one didn't really impress me. Um, but the brown definitely definitely did and i love it that is my first impression for you guys and my review i hope you guys enjoyed it if you guys are interested in seeing more um like makeup related videos um let me know i'll be interested to do them i'm not like a beauty guru or anything and i don't really know much about makeup as i've said i do my makeup with my fingers most of the time and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up it helps me out a lot only if you enjoy the video of course and subscribe to my channel it also helps me a lot but only of course if you guys want there's never any pressure around here um i do a lot of fragrance videos um fashion beauty uh lifestyle sort of videos so if you guys are interested in seeing that content don't forget to subscribe and as always i hope you guys have a beautiful and blessed day and i'll be catching you guys in the next one bye guys